we are discussing a single bus processor and in this video we are going to discuss branch instructions so let's consider this example branch 50 so we know that in branching instructions the addressing mode that is used is pc relative addressing that means this offset that is mentioned in the instruction will be added to the program counter and the next instruction will be fetched from that address. So let's say there was a set of instructions that were being executed and we have this branch 50. So the program counter is already pointed, pointing to the next instruction because when this instruction was fetched, program counter was already updated and it is pointing to the next instruction. So to this content of the program counter, this offset 50 will be added so whatever is the new address the instruction will be fetched from that address so in my earlier lecture on this single bus processor i have already discussed the instruction fetch part and it, while discussing the instruction fetch i had mentioned that when we update the program counter so we had taken out the program counter uh, contents and we had added four to the program counter and when putting it back in the program counter in the next clock cycle we had also put the updated contents in this temporary register y so if there is any addition or arithmetic or logical operation that comes in this y can be overwritten but in case there is a branch instruction like this where we need to add this offset to the program counter then this content is already available in Y. So we need not bring out the program counter content again. So this content is already available in Y. We do an offset field IR out. Why do we do this? This instruction BR50 is available in the instruction register in the binary format. So whatever is the offset field, that means the bits that are specifying this offset, this is referring to that, that the bits which are referring to the offset field, they are taken out by the control logic and the decoder and they are sent onto the bus and they are now available at this port of the ALU. The PC plus 4, the PC updated contents of PC are already available in register Y. So we will do a select Y so that this comes here and now PC can be added to the offset which has come from the instruction register. They can be added, put in Z and sent back to PC. So we do offset field of IR out, select Y, do an addition and put it in Z. Now we know that in one clock cycle only one unit can output contents on this single bus. So in clock cycle 4, sin since IR bits were out on the bus, Z will put out its content on the bus in the next clock cycle and they will be put in PC. And this will be the end of this instruction. So now when the next fetch cycle begins, this PC will contain the address from where the branching has to take place. So the target address, which is, that is the address from where the next instruction has to be fetched is now updated in the PC. What if there was a condition now? So let's say there is an instruction which has a condition branch if Z. That means if the result of the previous operation has resulted in a zero, then only you branch. So we have this condition over here, branch if Z and to this offset. So now we have to go to the target address. So let's say this is the target address, which is PC plus the offset, in this case 50, only if the, Z, the zero flag is high. Branch if Z means that we have to check the zero flag now. So if zero flag is one, then we have to go to the target address. Otherwise, we will just execute the next instruction. So if the condition is not satisfied, 
then we have to take whatever are the PC contents which are available right now. If the condition is satisfied, then we have to go to this target address. So what we do is, we first do the instruction fetch. We have already put the updated PC contents in Y. In the fourth uh, clock cycle, we are doing the same things that we did earlier. We take out the offset field from IR, select Y, add and put in Z in. That means we have computed this, but we have not updated the PC with this value. Now we are going to check the flag in the same clock cycle. So if Z is equal to zero, that means the flag is not high, then we have to go to the next instruction only. And for that, the PC is already having the address of the next instruction. So we will simply end over here. But if this condition is not satisfied, that means Z is one, then we update the PC and go to the target address. So this is how the branch conditions are taken care of in a single bus processor.